Hello guys and welcome back to the Empress Show. My good name is Julie and Kamakawaida, I just want to thank you so much for always tuning in. It's really, really a pleasure. So guys, if you are new here, please be kind enough to make sure that you subscribe, like, share and comment. And if you're not here, I mean, if you're not new here, hmm, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. May God bless you, may God expound you. So guys, I was about to step out, but I thought to myself, uh, these this uh, story that has been, um, you know, burning me inside to share with you guys. And it's about um, girl child. So um, every girl looks forward. I don't know. Maybe it was in my ears or anyway. But most girls look forward to growing up. Most girls look forward to, you know, just starting to feel like a, a, a full woman uh, by, you know, just, uh, experiencing the periods uh, and everything else, you know, gain uh, getting the boobs and anza grow boobs, ass to hips, being beautiful, and yes, it's every girl's dream. At Okiangalia, these small girls, you'll find that uh, they, they keep changing their walking style. They keep wanting to look th like their moms or their aunts. You know, they want to put up makeup to look like so and so. Just because they want to feel beautiful, that's the end result. And so today, I just want to talk about um, who prepares um, or how how is a girl prepared to receive her periods, her menstrual periods. And so it draws back to my my late uh, years in primary school. So I started my periods in classics. Yes. I know some of you Walians are very late, <laughs> but some of us started very, very early. And so, hey, it was very, very funny because I always uh, looked forward to, to that day, but it came as a bomber. So back in our primary school years, we used to get people who used to come to school, donate some pads to mostly class seven and eight and sometimes a uh, class six. And so I happened to be to have had um, uh, some parts in the house that had been donated earlier uh, by those uh, people who were coming in primary schools, public primary schools to donate. And so when it started, I was in a new school. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I had some few friends here and there. So uh, these particular guys used to come to schools and uh, educate girls on how to use them, educate girls on what to do when they experience them. But for those of us who had not um, experienced or they were not thinking that they were actually ready to start getting periods, we were not really concerned or our focus was not there to listen to these kind of people. I mean, for who? But for those that were in maybe class eight, class seven, class eight, they were very keen on listening because they knew that they were on their way there and it would come anytime. And so for a few of us who are pretty young, we never really used to care who or what they're talking about, but we really wanted to get the goodies, you know, it is goodies. And so we would, uh, we, we would be there just so that we could receive the goodies, the pads. <laughs> So when I went to this new school, it was in my first month and I was still in class six that time. And um, one morning, just before, it was either before or after the assembly, uh, before we were paraded and we, I felt some wetness. <laughs> I felt my, you know, my lower body part was wet and I felt this is just not me and I knew that something was happening and so when I rushed to the washrooms and they were quite far by the way and remember this is a classic uh, girl with a class full of boys and girls and these particular girls most of them have not started getting their um, periods and so I was really embarrassed when I went to the washrooms and found out that I was actually in that period. Oh my God, I really panicked. I didn't know what to do. I I mean, I was just, my mind was just all over. 
and then i realized i had actually messed up my dress gosh this was really bad but thankfully we our uniform was red and white but that is not that is not enough to say because even if it was red it it will still show so what i did i i just told one of my friends one of my girlfriends her name was salama um that this is what is happening and so she told me don't worry um just take your sweater and cover your back <laughs> and that's what i did because it used to be like a swag kufunga sweater kwa waist so it, it looked like a swag just tying up the sweater around my waist and so i i just went to my teacher and asked for permission to go home and uh, get some pads and the most unfortunate thing is that i was expected to go back to school and this whole time i was still thinking what is happening to me uh, do i have a problem is there anything that has ruptured <laughs> and so me as a girl i was not prepared just because people used to come to school to prepare other girls did not mean that all the girls were prepared personally my mom did not really prepare me for that she never had such conversations with us and so i i really think that it's important for for moms to prepare their girls for these situations it's really really important because they need to know it is actually normal they need to know that it is nothing to be embarrassed about they need to know that when this happens this is what you should do you should not panic you should just do this or that they should know that um this is part of a woman's life and so um i i just went home um and remember i had some pads so i went home grabbed the pads that we used to receive from those donors and well let me tell you mine <laughs> So, the very unfocused girl <laughs> who used to be in those trainings of her on how to use the pads. Um, the first time I used a pad, instead of, you know, uh, putting it the way it's supposed to be put on the panty. Ha! This is very embarrassing. I stuck it on myself. <laughs> I stuck it on my parts, yeah, because that's what I thought it should be. And so, instead of getting it any better, because it continued coming out, I, I could feel whenever I walked, the part was moving, and I could feel some, you know, some some menstrual still coming, uh, messing up my pants, and it was one of the longest days in my life those days. And so I, I just don't know how. I think I just decided to try it out the next, uh, on my next part. I decided to try out on uh, the other side and put it maybe now on my panty. And it was really, really bad. It was embarrassing because it never helped me. I The part I carried, I mean, the part I put on myself never helped me. Why? Because it got too messed up. <laughs> The sticking part was supposed to be on the panty, but I put it on the other way. And so women, train your kids, train your girls on things that they expect in life. Train them about periods, train them about their, you know, about their body parts, what they should expect when they start seeing boobs coming out, it is normal and nobody should touch them when they start seeing hips and ass they should respect them and so teach your kids that when this happens when they start getting their periods it is normal and show them how to use the sanitary pads because it can really really be embarrassing to any girl to any woman if at all you don't know how to use it or if at all you have heavy periods uh that are even you know they're not even carrying up one pad at me you know within two hours they should learn that uh within a certain period of time it should change and this is how you you should have yourself cleaned up 
all that it is very very important and that is my story of the day that was one time and i learned it from myself anyway don't wait for your child to learn from uh, their own mistakes make sure that you train them early enough so have yourself a very very good day and may god bless you always give it a thumbs up if you like the video and if you like it even more share with your people and subscribe if you haven't subscribed thank you so much for staying tuned and i really 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 appreciate your presence in my life god bless you and see you on my next video bye bye